Welcome on board, ladies and gentlemen. The panoramic tour of the sewers of New York is about to start. Fantastic. I wander around the sewers of New York only to find out that the only way to get out of here is a staircase that is impossible to reach. It looks like some sort of floating bridge. One of the barrels that makes it float seems to have come undone. It's the gauge that tells you the pressure inside the pipe. Now it's at the minimum. Collection Basin 28. According to what's written here, this basin is used to collect excess rainwater. If the pressure in the pipes becomes too high, then the water is deviated into this basin. It looks like the piping starts from here.
It's the gauge that tells you the pressure inside the pipe. The pressure is back to the minimum now. Pretty hard to use a floating bridge when you don't have anything to let it float on. Moreover, one of the barrels is unhooked. Yes, I think the rope is long enough to attach the barrel to the bridge. It seems to work. I even have part of the rope left. It should work. to get out? You like magician that disappear from stage and then we appear behind you. Right. When this is all over, I'll try to find a job with the circus. What you want to do now? You don't think I better call police? Given how things are unfolding, I'd say that the police wouldn't help much. Where's your cab? Cab parked two blocks from here. I was afraid the man from port would recognize it. So hid an owie. That's the first good idea today. I always full of good idea. Sure. Do you know where the car with the girl is headed? No. When I arrive, I hear only that man from port and woman talk about fairy today. Hmm. A fairy. Maybe I know where the car with the girl is headed. Where? While I was being used as a punching bag, I heard Victoria say something about a plane she had to catch. They definitely won't be leaving from the main airport. No matter how many connections they have in New York, a girl can't get on board without someone asking questions. So they must have picked a much more discreet airport. And I'm sure that the ferry that you heard them talking about is the same one I found the ad for in Victoria's office. So they're headed to Glen Cove. Wow, you good as investigator. Not good enough. Even if I know that they're going to Glen Cove, I don't have any idea which airport they went to. If I only had a map. I have map! You have a map with you? Certainly. I drive cab. Without map, I don't get nowhere. John, I'm starting to think that you're not as useless as I thought. You always have something nice to say, huh? Give me the map. Here! I don't see anything here. I don't see anything here. I don't see anything here. Here it is. MacArthur Airport. There aren't any other airports for miles. This is definitely where they're headed. If I take the Northern Boulevard, I should get there in less than two hours. Considering the time it takes with the ferry, they must still be traveling. John. You know where Goo is? Maybe, but I need you to do me a favor. I think this me not like. I need you to call a certain Violetta Moore and ask him to go to the museum in Central Park. We no get girl and friend? Yes, but I'll go alone. And how you plan to go? With your cab. 
You want me? Give my cab to you? Yes. You can't come where I have to go. You'd only get in my way. Not a question. I no give you cab. If I have to, I'll take it by force. So stop jabbering. Damn it! This is unfair! You have me arrested today. Kidnap girl, go mix up in this story, and now you want cab? This is absolutely not fair! Tomorrow morning, if everything goes well, you'll find it parked on the Lower East Side. And if not go well? I'll be dead, and one of the advantages of being dead is not having to apologize to upset cab drivers for their destroyed cabs. Ah, okay. You take cab, but promise to be careful. Cab only thing I have. Relax. I'll treat it like it were mine. I not feel better. Remember to call Violetta Moore. His number's in the book. Violetta Moore. Central Park Museum. I remember everything. Good. It's time to go stop an airplane. The dawn lights up the hills of Glen Cove, while the cab is swallowed up by the shadows of the sequoias that surround the highway. After a mile of twists and turns, a blue sign tells me that I'm close. I leave the cab a quarter of a mile from the airport, hidden among the trees, and go the rest of the way by foot, for safety's sake. Marcetti, I'm coming to even up the score. Oscar. Mm. Have you seen Diaz? Mm. If you see her, don't let on that you've seen me. I plan on having a chat with our guest, and I don't want Diaz underfoot. Mm. While I entertain myself with the pretty redhead, you stay here and be on call. If you see someone, you know what to do. Mm. A redhead. He was definitely talking about Greta. So they brought her here, too. I have to find a way into the airport, but so long as that ogre Oscar is there, I don't think it'll be easy. 